outside. Midwest 100 to go. My numero uno's trying to peg it back. Midwest about a long neck. My numero uno, they reach the line. Midwest, Midwest has just lasted from my numero feel uniquely. Queen Air is going well. 14 to 2,000 metres, no problem. Queen Air did it really well. Trotted in. Somerville second. Who's up? Takes the lead. Bel Air's getting out. Bel Air and also Russian dancer with she's a Tempest. Bel Air. Bel Air's got up to win it. Bel Air from a photo. At the 150, kick three lengths in front of Rambler Rebel. Horrifying quality time. Munamek is going well and will win again. Munamek to the line, full ball one, two and a half lengths. Second horrifying. Welcome back to the channel, everybody, for Group 1 Racing and following you for the Australian Cup meeting. A lot of good races on this card, including the feature, obviously, the Australian Cup over the 2,000 metres where I think you need to be drawn well in that race. Uh, but quite a lot of uh, good horses going around. Of course, the ba big battle, of course, what you need in Benedetta, of course, scratch from Mooney Valley tonight. So going to be very interesting, that race um, down there straight over the 1,200. One draws wide, one draws inwards. So we're going to have to see how that goes. But I'm pretty confident in a couple on this card. So let's get into the meeting and find the winners. Race 1 flowing in is a mare's handicap over the 1100 mares. I'm very keen here on snapped for Mickey D and Anthony and Sam Freeman. Drawn Barry 1. I don't see that to be an issue here because she'll go back with a lot of speed on here. Duchess of Dorset, Varenskiver, Mega Mia, Serides. They're all going to go forward. Gelgani can be the speed influence as well. And I think she can just sit off and then she's with, within range of the 400. She can swoop down the outside and win. Um... Coming out of the Jeffrey Belmain, uh, didn't handle the 1300 metres. Now back to the 1200, down the straight. I'm pretty confident in her chances to win. Drops two kilos from the last start run, and I think can be very, very effective here in, in winning. Varanska, for the obvious one that a lot of people are going to like, has an excellent record down the straight. But first up is the only query where Snap has got race fitness. Uh, Duchess of Dorset and Bell CL, the two that I thought were over the odds, but snapped. Race 1, Flemington, 25 the win. Race number 2 at Flemington, it's the Group 3 TBV Thoroughbred Breeder Stakes over the 1200 metres, and I'm with Amazonian Lash for Gay Ward House. Adrian bought jo but Geordie Childs aboard with the 56 kilos. Drawn out wide and barrier 13. I like the barrier, I like them drawing out wide on the straight. Was a good win at, e at Warwick Farm, had to, fend, had to fend them all off. Was, the margin wasn't far, but was still a tough win. And Gay Waterhouse and Adrian Bott's second start brings it south to Melbourne and in a stakes race. That generally points to a win here, and I think it'll do so. And I'm surprised it's actually drifting. 3.30 at the 4.20. That's still, it's still a very good price for this horse. Suzuko for second. I think they'll go to the Valley tonight. But uh, interested to see how it goes at $15. Uh, Hell Queen loves a dry track. Got the easy kill last start. Was a moral and it won impressively. Blake Shinnerboard for Ben Brisbane. Does draw wide, but the barrier won't matter. And Lava Zoo for John McNall, Danny O'Brien, the first starter, I think can run well. But Amazonian last on top and Thoroughbred Breeder Stakes. Not confident in the tip, but I think with that stable, you have to have something on it. 50 in the win. Race number three at Flemington is the Grand Handicap Classic over the 2,000 metres. Sparkle on top and quite clearly on top. The one to beat for mine. Won the prelude for this race over the 2,000 at Flemington carrying the 59.5 kilos. Where Blake Shin rode at an absolute perler. Beat Shockham over by a length. Now with Celine Gordray's claim. With the big weight they had to go with the claim here. And the drops down to 59 kilos. So it actually drops half a kilo from its last start run. Key market support already, seven into five dollars. I think it'll be winning here. The danger I thought was flying Basil. I think this horse can run better than its price at twenty-six dollars. Has a very light weight for Will Price and has an inside draw, and I think can prove very effective over this distance over the two thousand. It's run over well before. Kettle Hill under the odds for mine at five dollars. I thought was a risk. And Tycoon Beck loves the two thousand meters and at Flemington, but Spark will be too classy for this field. Thirty the win. Race number four, following this a listed ATA Bob Hoisted handicap over the thousand meters, a thousand meter horse in a thousand meter race, and that's what the bopper is. He'll set off them with a fair bit of speed on here with the with the Jumba Callus on the lead. 
And Mr. Mosaic can also go for with Midnight Charm. And I think he'll be powering over the top of them. Drops two kilos from its last start run in the challenge behind uh, passive aggressive Eduardo and Giga Kick, the best sprinters in the land going around. Uh, was a moral beaten at the Go Coast and then got the win on the board at Eagle Farm. I think he brings that different form reference, and I think I like that form reference. D. Oliver on two kilos, drops from last start, and a good barrier. I can seriously see this horse blousing this field and be blowing them away. From the Jumbuck for a second, who's been the straight finder of the autumn. Kalos, has he returned a better horse? We'll see, but it was a big win first up. And on the lead, doesn't turn... Doesn't have the weight advantage on Kalos to be beating him. But the bopper on top of the ADA Bob Hoist at 40 to win. I'm very confident. Race number five of Fomingen is the listed Roy Higgins quality over the 2600 metres. Winning you're in the Melbourne Cup. And I think so unusual. The staying find of the autumn. Won its past four. He was very, very good to win last start. He showed a lot of uh, grit and... Um, uh, ability to win last start for Dean Holland with the 54 kilos. Now, only goes up to the 55, only goes up a kilo, and I think that he'll win it, and he'll be in the Melbourne Cup because he beat a good ho Well, not a good horse, but the form has been frank with Timor winning since, and getting back to Flem or going to Flemington again, he'll see this horse win, and I'm quite keen on its chances. Sulcum for second. Obviously, the big win in the Queen's Cup is going to be the form reference that a lot of people are going to be following here, I think. Is a very good chance. So his first two runs this campaign have been disappointing, but back to Fleming and over a trip he can win at. Interested to see how it goes. Goldman, I was happy to take on just at the price. Has won by a collective of five lengths recently and is a good horse, but uh, Dry Track's going to be against him. And Young Verther hasn't won in about 150 years, but uh, 650 I think can run up in the race. But so unusual in Solcom. Look to the, look the two to fight this out, but so unusual on top. 40 the win and Saber, 10 the win on Solcom. Race 6 at Fleming is a 3-year-old Sunlight Classic over the 1100 metres and I'm with what you need here. Uh, 2 from 2 was a very good win. Both start. Blew them away on debut. Blew them away last start. Didn't beat anything in my mind, but did it impressively and I think it'll march off with a win here and remain undefeated and remain and get the uh, th B3 from 3 and does have the important wide draw where the other danger to it in Benedetta, the other key market I like in the race is drawn one, and I can see it being strung up in traffic. I think that stable made the wrong move. I think they should have gone to the valley tonight, um, but I think it's still a good chance. KGB uh, ran well last start, first up behind what you need, and Seven Veils has shot really well. Interested to see how it goes this campaign, but what you need, Benedetta, to the two to the fight this out. What you need on top, 30 the win in the saver on Benedetta. I really honestly couldn't split them, but I'm going with the horse. It's two from two. Uh, has a barrier to be swooping down the outside and just blows them late. So, what you need on top, 30 the win and 10 the win, Benedetta. Race number seven at Flemington is a Group 1 Australian Cup over the 2,000 metres. Cascadian on top of the key. A couple of key scratchings in Right You Are, who was my on-top selection, but now I'm with Cascadian. Uh, he's the best weight for age horse in the race. He loves the 2,000 metres at Flemington. Uh, he's on the back up for running an outstanding race last weekend in the All-Star Mile. Um, he didn't win the All-Star Mile, but I think he'll win the Australian Cup and give Ben Mellon another Group 1. Uh, he just looks immoral on paper. Best weight for age horse, best, best horse at 2,000 metres, best horse at Flemington. is his race to lose. Numerian for second. I think he'll, with the barrier, he'll settle in the first couple and run a hell of a, hell of a race for Jamie Mutton and the Bonish. And it was very good first up. Bankmore comes off the Alistair Clark win last weekend. Jai McNeil with a lightweight can run well. And Regal Power, I wouldn't wouldn't surprise me to see this horse run a place. Um, has run very well at the 2,000 metres at flowing in before. And I think it'll run well. But cascading on top of the Group 1 Australian Cup, the one to beat, 40 the win. Race number eight at Flemington is a three-year-old and up handicap over the 1,400 metres. The key early scratching elation out going to Bendigo next week for Golden Mile Day. And with that scratching, I'm with Pinstriped. I think it's a very good chance here. I don't mind the wide draw. Blake should have bought a uh, tough set that has got the 56.5 kilos. Ran over the 1,200 metres first up. Um, okay, 62.5, so it drops fairly significantly in weight. And I still think ran well with... Uh, the weight run fifth over an unsuitable trip now up to the 14 at Flemington. I, I think it's his race to lose. I couldn't take Daytona Bay at the price 
has been favoured its first two runs this campaign, disappointing its both disappointing both runs. Though with Linda Meach on with the fifty four barrier four, I think that in signals that they'll go forward, but I still think it's a bit of a risk. Harder Puissance is the one I think can run a really big race for Matty Raymond first up with a 54 and a half. But then Declan Bates from Barry number one. I think it's a good chance. And four home too. The best roughie of the day. $71. It's way over the odds. But pins dropped on top. Race eight at Flemington. 25 the win. Race number nine at Flemington is the benchmark 80 handicap over the 1200 metres to finish the day. And I've got Bellinger on top. I'm quite keen on his chances too. With the favourite, I don't think he'll get into the field. Trey Port, he needs one scratching, though is a good chance of getting into the field. But I like Bellinger because it's had two start. Last two wins have been impressive in Adelaide. The stay will bring it back to Victoria. And I think it'll run really well here and... Laura Lafferty sticks and brings her weight down to the 57 kilos and carried the 58 last start. So it actually drops a kilo and has beaten a subsequent winner from that run being Chicago Storm from last start. I just think $8 is over the odds for the horse. I, uh, it's, a, it's a lottery race, but I think that he's the best horse. No, not the best horse, but the horse that's won its last two, progressive and on the way up, and can win again. Mr. Yushu was a big win last start at Sandy, and I think can go right on with it here for Damien Oliver and... John Conlon, missed my Yankee girl for John Salonitri, Blake Shin, nearly, it was in a dead heat with Invincible Caviar, where the stewards overturned the result, and I think can run well here, and Mars Mission, if it were anywhere near its best, it would blow this field away, but Bellinger on top in the last 20 to win to finish uh, Australian Cup Day. Thank you everyone for watching my preview for Group 1 Australian Cup. I hope you find a winner. I hope you back a winner. I hope Cascadian bigs, wins a big one. And I hope So Unusual wins his way into the Melbourne Cup quite here on both of their chances. And I hope you've enjoyed the preview. And I'll see you next weekend for Bendigo Golden Mile Day.